So how long have you had had the dogs then, or do they you have to get new ones every year? Or do oh no, they nope. Last uh, several years. These yeah, these guys are all dogs that I bred from and have raised from birth. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. So, um, and in fact, some of these guys go back to uh, multiple generations of dogs that I've uh, bred and oh, that's raised. Amazing. So, and that's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. I had a husky as a pet uh, back in 2000. I got her, and uh, they're super active. And I just wanted something to do with her in the winter. As soon as I saw a video of somebody mushing a team of dogs, I was like, "Ooh, that's what I want to do. <laughs> that looks like fun." Folks, get a picture because you are seeing history of sled dogs. Actually, the night runs are really can be very peaceful and. Uh, the, you know, because it's dark and your headlamp, you just see what's in your headlamp. It, it's kind of uh, surreal and, and quiet and it's, I enjoy the night runs for that reason. What's the Iditarod like? Is that a pit crew race? No, nope, that that's, that's, that's all alone too. Yeah. So, and that's, uh, you know, that these are, the, all qualifiers for it and right. in order for UP200 to be a qualifier I have to do my first checkpoint here uh -huh. unassisted oh. so everybody uh -huh. else will have assistance but since I'm using it as a qualifier I can't have assistance at that one checkpoint I guess those perfect runs you have uh, every once in a while you have just the most beautiful peaceful perfect run where the dogs are running great and, and it's gorgeous out and I, that's the kind of thing that keeps you doing it over and over again. It's, it's a bit of an addiction they say and I guess I can attest to that since I'm still doing it 18 years later.